Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to build a quadrant in Excel. A quadrant is a graphical tool that's used to uh, depict data in uh, more or less polar coordinates. So I have a spreadsheet set up here. Uh, part of it is just the, uh, what's needed to generate a circle. And the other part is, uh, is what I call the bubbles. This is uh, commonly used on this kind of a chart. It's, uh, um, and, and I'm, I'm going to, everything is done here except for actually uh, populating the bubbles onto the chart. Uh, so let me just walk you through what, what we have here. Um, the, the circle in uh, polar coordinates has theta, which is an, ang an angle that goes from, um, if you remember your trigonometry, zero degrees is, is on the x-axis, 90 degrees is on the y-axis, 180 is on the negative x-axis, and 270 is on the negative y-axis, and then back to 360, which becomes zero again at the, at the x-axis. Um, and then just to draw a circle, it's just a, a, a radius of one. It's just a, a unit circle, and it's just to, to provide the, the, the basis for our, our quadrant plot. Um, so what we have here is, is just the X and Y coordinates, which are our plotting points on the chart over here, are just trigonomet trigonometric transformations of the theta and the R. So it's just R times the cosine of theta for X and R times the sine of theta for, for the Y. And there's a, there's a conversion here from degrees to radians. It's 180 divided by pi is the conversion that's needed. <clears throat> so the, if you click on the, the circle over here, uh, that's just plotting the X's and Y's, but it becomes a circle because it's, uh, it's the, uh, we've done the tri trigonometric transformation. Uh, the interesting part is, is the, the, depending on what kind of data or what kind of information you want to depict, you're going to want to plot some uh, bubbles different places on the quadrant chart. So I've just made up some, some dummy values of thetas and r's, and then I've done the same transformation from polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates in, in these two columns here to plot them on, on an xy scale. So the first one here is the, um, the first point is, uh, is going to be at 45 degrees, which is halfway between the x and y axes over here and a, an R value of 0.5, which just means it's a radius halfway out to the circle. The next one will be at 70 degrees, a little further up in the first quadrant, and at a radius of 0.9, and so on. The next one is 135, which is here in the second quadrant at a radius of 0.1, so that'll appear right here. So anyway, continuing on like that, um, I've, I've got several more points. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these points onto this quadrant chart that's, that's been generated, and uh, so the first thing we're going to do is, is click on the, uh, the chart menu. And it may look different on your particular operating system and your particular version of Excel. But you want to find a place where you're going to select the data. Uh, so we're going to click on Select Data. And it's, uh, it's already prompting us to uh, enter in wherever the cursor happened to be. So we want to re replace that. Oh, I'm sorry. We actually want to add a new set of data. The, the, the one set of data that exists is just the data from the circle that we plotted. We're going to add a new series of data that's going to be our bubbles. So we're going to click on Add, which means we want a new series of data uh, added to the plot. And then um, we're going to click over here on the X values. And then, so the cursor is entered in there. And then you just take and you drag the values that you want to be the X values. So it's these values here. Uh, the x values that were the you know conversion from the polar coordinates and then for the y values uh, for some reason it always has this thing here so i just go in and i select that delete it and then i just do the same thing for the y values i go into these cells here in column i and i drag select those and i'm all done i've got the data entered in um, there's you can label them if you want but uh, just for now we're going to get the points in and we're going to say okay now when do this um, just the way things happen to be set up on my computer. Um, I think because the plot that was already there on the chart was a consisted of lines and smooth lines and no, no points, the second data set I entered in has the same format. But instead of a straight line with no points, we actually want to see the points without a line. So to reformat this data set, which is this squiggly red line, um, we right click on it, 
to select the data series and we click on format data series. And um, now we've got a, a, some menus that will allow us to first add in markers. So we're going to select marker style. And as you can see, the, the style right now that's selected is no marker. Well, we want a marker. So let's pick a circle here. And the default size is five. Well, we want it bigger than that. Let's just, just go up. And as you can see over here, you can, uh, these newer versions of Excel are really nice because they can see, you can see what's happening as you change um, things in different menus. So as we go up, I'm continuing to click up here to, to increase the size and let's make nice big bubbles. Let's go up to uh, 25. That seems pretty good. And then the next thing we want to do, so that does it for our marker. Now we want to go to the line and what's selected right now is an automatic color. Well, not only don't we want any color, we don't want any line at all. So there's an option for that. So we click on no line, move this menu off to the side and you see we have a nice bubble plot. So I hope this has been useful. This is Ted, and today I've showed you how to create a quadrant chart in Excel. Thank you for watching.